All right, welcome everybody. Um, this uh, workshop is about Jason's scheme of vocabularies. Um, just to get an idea, like how many people are coming into this knowing generally what that means? Okay, so most of us, okay. Um, so I'm gonna go through a little introduction to, uh, to Jason's scheme of vocabularies and then the idea is that we're going to um, write some code. Uh, we can do it however you guys want to. We can um, do, like, I'll just give you guys the assignment and we can do some individual work. We can, uh, you know, pair up, we can do a mob, um, however we want to do it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll get started. Um, this is just some stuff about me. Um, who I am. I've uh, been working with Jason Schema for many years. Um, I was not uh, involved in developing this, uh, the vocabulary system, but, uh, but I was one of the first to actually implement it. And, uh, yeah. So, there's, uh, there's a couple of things that, uh, um, like, we gotta uh, figure out the vocabulary of what we're gonna talk about before uh, we start going into some of the details. Um, so a JSON schema keyword is, uh, is the properties that you see in a schema, like type, properties, items, any of these things. Uh, a vocabulary is a collection of keywords. So it's a, it's a grouping. Um, in JSON schema, we have several. Um, one is uh, validation. Uh, so all the keywords that are specifically for validation, uh, such as minimum um, and, and things like that, go in that are in that vocabulary. Uh, applicators are things that kind of that have sub schemas. So like the properties keyword has uh, uh, is has schemas within it. Those are those are applicators, and uh, and several other vocabularies. So uh, so again, a vocabulary is a collection of keywords, and uh, uh, similarly, a dialect is a collection of vocabularies. Uh, so what we're what we'll do today is uh, create a JSON schema dialect. That includes some new keywords that we're going to find. Um, and then a meta schema uh, is just a, a schema that describes uh, the, the dialect that we're going to be working with. Uh, it's also where we're going to declare our vocabularies. Um, so, what is the vocabulary system? It's basically a way to customize JSON schema. So. Um, we can uh, we can add keywords. We can limit uh, the, the features of the keyword, um, or, uh, or, you know, create whole new subsets based on uh, vocabularies that already exist. So, so actually, actually, before, before we, we go into that, that um, do. do does anybody out here have an idea of uh, something that they would like to use uh, vocabularies for? Maybe custom a custom dialect. Does anybody come in with an idea in mind? No? All right. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So uh, so here's what the, uh, the standard JSON schema 2020-12 dialect looks like. Um, first it has an identifier. This is uh, what will be used in the, in the dollar schema keyword to uh, declare that schema uses this dialect. Uh, the vocabulary keyword is what we use to describe uh, what the dialect is. So, uh, so I mentioned that uh, there are a bunch of standard dialects or standard standard uh, vocabularies that are used in this uh, in this dialect, and those are those are the ones 
that are included. Uh, the core vocabulary is a little bit special in that it kind of declares that this is uh, using the 2020-12 uh, version of JSON schema. Oops. Oh, all right, screen's back. Um, so uh, the vocabulary keyword has uh, an ID and a Boolean value. So the, uh, the URI is the identifier for the vocabulary. It doesn't, uh, doesn't actually resolve to anything, it's just an identifier. Um, and it says, and it's um, just, there's some documentation somewhere that's, that defines what these things are. Uh, the Boolean value determines whether uh, that vocabulary is required to be supported by the implementation so, um, so if there's, we'll see an example a little bit later. So if you have a vocabulary that uh, doesn't affect validation, you can make it uh, an optional vocabulary. So, um, so the implementation doesn't have to understand it in order to correctly validate the schema. Uh, next, uh, it, the, this, the dialect schema, um, includes all of the vocabulary meta schemas for each of the vocabularies. So where all of the, the actual keywords are defined are in these sub documents. Um, and they'll look just like the normal uh, JSON schema, meta schema that hopefully you've seen at some point, even if it looks a little bit magical. Um, dynamic references, I'm not going to get into too much, but they are kind of um, integral to how, what makes a lot of this um, not terribly complicated. Um, so it makes it a lot easier to do, uh, to do these, uh, to combine these schemas into a single dialect meta schema. Um, so we'll see a, a small example before to get just you know, as much as you need to know to get through. Um, but uh, if we want to talk about how dynamic references work in more detail later, we can do that as well. So the best example of a, um, of a dialect is the OpenAPI 3.1 JSON schema dialect. Uh, so this uh, so OpenAPI in 3.1 decided that, that we wanted to get away from being this, a separate thing um, that uh, modifies JSON schema in, in uh, ways that, are, uh, that users have fi found confusing. So now it's uh, JSON schema in OpenAPI is strictly the 2020-12 version plus their own special vocabulary. So they have uh, an ID just that we would use in the schema, just like uh, uh, we do with uh, the standard schema uh, vocabularies. So the first few vocabularies declared here are just the standard JSON schema vocabularies. And then the last one is the OpenAPI specific one. Uh, so this one also includes the meta schemas. Instead of uh, having to include all of them like, uh, like we did before, we can take a shortcut and just include the whole thing because we're actually including all of the 2020-12 uh, the vocabularies. Um, if you're going to use only some of those vocabularies, we'd have to list them out like they are in the standard dialect. Um, and then, then we also include the vocabulary schema for OpenAPI. So let's take a look at that one. Uh, so OpenAPI adds four keywords. Um, 
example, discriminator, external docs, and XML. Um, and uh, and so this is uh, this is works just like a, a standard meta schema. We just add this, and it should all work. Um, so here's the uh, the example of uh, dynamic references. So this vocabulary doesn't have um, any keywords that uh, that include subschemas, um, also known as applicators. But let's pretend that it does. We'll, we'll call it foo. So if we had a um, a foo keyword that uh, that takes a schema, then we use the dynamic ref to meta. That will uh, that will say instead of using just this uh, vocabulary schema as the target of meta, use the dialect schema, the original. This one is where it'll end up. So we can look at that if um, if that comes up. Um, there are four implementations that I know of that uh, can that support um, uh, the vocabulary system. Uh, the first one up there is uh, is one that I wrote, and um, if uh, so, uh, can give uh, um, an assignment that we can all, all work on. Um, if uh, if you want to work on anything other than the hyperjump one, you're welcome to do so, but I probably won't be able to help you because I don't know those implementations myself. Um, and uh, here's the assignment we're gonna try. Uh, so the first thing is to use custom meta schema to create a custom dialect that supports the full 202012 semantics, but not include the not keyword and limit the type keyword to a string only and forbid unrecognized keywords. So these are all things that can do that you can do just with a custom meta schema. You don't have to define the dialect at all. Um, so then the next part will get uh, a little bit more in depth. Um, we'll use the vocabulary keyword to enable the format assertions vocabulary, but make it op optional. So um, the format keyword, I think uh, everybody knows, is um, is defined to not affect validation by default. So it's just uh, it's just an annotation. Uh, so if you have like a, a string that's that has a date format. Um, if that string is not, not a date, it's not going to fail validation. So, but there's also uh, a vocabulary that turns that on. So, your, uh, so if you want that, that format to be validated, we can use the format assertions vocabulary to make that work. Uh, and that's what we would do here. Um, then we would also, in this task, uh, disable the unevaluated vocabulary, that's the unevaluated properties and unevaluated items. Um, so that stuff sh is all um, messing around with the vocabularies. Um, but at this point, we haven't made any new keywords yet. And then the last task is to create some new keywords uh, that assert something. So, um, so I didn't uh, include any specific uh, examples here, but I can give you some ideas if you like. And, uh, but uh, ideally, I want you guys to be creative and try to come up with uh, something uh, on your own. So at this point, uh, we, can, uh, we can do some questions. I know a lot of this is still very vague, and that was just a, uh, an overview. Um, but uh, but I want to get to um, actually writing some code and uh, and trying some things out and uh, and maybe answering those those questions um, and letting you guys dig in deeper through that. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, question? So, I'm going to run you my laptop. It's just for letting you on my side. Sure. I did have a question about you had uh, an area on the top to enable both tablets, and then you were specifically mentioning them in the bottom, I think it was. So, if we go back, yeah, there. So, we got the both tablets that were on the top. Mm -hmm. So the vocabularies is defining the semantics. So it says like uh, when we have a, uh, a type keyword in the schema, this is what it means. The uh, schemas below, the part that's highlighted on the screen, is, uh, is, defines the structure of those keywords. So, um, so it says type can be a string that has uh, these values, or it can be array, an array of those values. Yeah. All right. So, um, so do we got? Do we uh, want to try to do? Um, do you guys want to do individual work on this and I can walk around and help out or uh, I can let you guys, uh, um, you know, pair up or, uh, or group up as you, as you like um, or, uh, yeah, yes, of course. Oh, the implementations, sure. Yeah. Um, also, this, uh, uh, this presentation is uh, linked in the uh, schedule. If you've got the online version of there, you should be able to find it. Um, with the, and so you can use all these links as examples. Um, All right, so I guess, uh, does anybody, uh, I, I guess we'll, I'll let you guys uh, group up and try things as you like, um, since nobody spoke up. So, um, but if, uh, uh, if you're, you're looking for a partner, um, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll help you find a partner or something. 